Welcome back to Artivism on your town television program. And my third segment this month with my good friend and golf partner and fellow artist uh, in, in ongoing conversation about our creativity, Mark Bear. Mark, uh, welcome back. King, this is a pleasure. Yes, it really is. And, and you know, Mark is a magnificent visual artist, but he's also a magnificent uh, wordsmith and author. He's written novels, he's written poetry, he's done avant-garde work and more structured work. We're going to be talking about that today, and I, I really uh, appreciate that. I know you've been working on a, on a really uh, kind of avant-garde piece that deals with, uh, with, with words and deals with visual art uh, in it, you know, at the same time. So what does stretching the limits uh, with avant-garde art do to kind of deconstruct our overly fixed ideas about the world? and open us to new possibilities. How about that? Well, I, 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 the reason for it, Yes. Uh, I mean, we're, we're calling it avant-garde and stretching, and we're, we're using all these terms after the fact, but the truth of it is I'm doing this because I'm looking for the right container to say what I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and to put what I can do, what I can offer that I can do uniquely, then have a voice and have my voice clear, uh, sometimes you have to invent your own form. Yes. And uh, yes. It, it's the path of least resistance is what gets okay. me here. Fascinating. Uh, so you, I have qualities that I've been working on over the years. I've been working on spoken word. I was, I've was i been involved in spoken word for many years, mm -hmm. uh, probably since uh, when I was very young and had to get through Ulysses and had to read it out loud and tape it for I don't know the 24 hours that it was right. because I couldn't I couldn't get it until I could hear it right and right. that just that sort of training made me right for the year yeah so that was a you know that was already a little off the path right getting a song into your writing if you will yeah yeah, yeah. so so you know so it's so a quirks of Quirks along the way have led me <laughs> astray. So, so we've talked a bit about kind of the the, the zeitgeist of our times and the yeah. changing zeitgeist yeah. of our times set you off into this project in yeah. a way. Is yeah. that fair to say? Yeah. Well, let me let me just kind of say where I am. Uh, I've been working on a project for multiple screens, uh, which means I, I see this as a, in a public place. Uh, imagine you're in a in a big warehouse with very big uh, video screens on a story that, that you can watch for two or three minutes at a time. There's multiple images all around the room. The artwork is all around the room on the floors and on the walls uh, that will lead you into a world that I've entered. Mm -hmm. So I've gone through the looking glass with this. Yes. And now my job is to bring an audience through the looking glass with me. Yes. Uh, so that's uh, so the first two dances were a, a, a kind of a thoughts on modernism. Uh, Picasso, the Ballet Russe, uh, um, and Nijinsky. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did uh, uh, the Sacre de Prato, uh, Rite of Spring, and uh, then Afternoon of a Fawn. So these were the two initial pieces for the multiple screens. Uh, this third work now is about a year of painting. So okay. the two pieces were about dance. This is now called the, the, the Dance of the Little Bells or a year of painting. Okay. And basically it's uh, month by month by month of what's going on with I'm picking up through the universe, what I'm channeling. Yeah. Uh, to respond to the the times and to do this new art form, which I don't have, you know, in writing I'm very confident. You know, yeah. I, I've been doing it a long time. Yes. I'm, I know right from wrong, and I'm really feel I can get up and like yeah, be yeah, yeah. The 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 painting is there is no technique, as we say. You know, so I, it, it, as Cezanne said, you have to imagine you're the only painter in the world. Right, and then do it. <laughs> and then imagine there are no other painters. So I've had to do that. And that doesn't mean that I'm having the Cezanne result. <laughs> well. But, but whatever, I, you know. Yeah, well, you're, yes. So, so how do these words then, uh, how do you associate them with your visual? 
the visual comes first. So okay. in other words, what the, what the year of painting is, what, what's sitting here in this stack that's four and a half hours long, and it's going to be like a cereal, right. uh, came from a year of channeling. With the difference between painting, writing, you want to be very clear, and you want, your, you want to, the audience to understand mm -hmm. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. On, in a piece of art, your meaning is not understood, but it's right at the tip of your tongue. It's a little bit beyond. The, the, the audience has to kind of get it, yes. but not quite be able to articulate what you're getting. Yes. It's, there's that mysterious thing. Yeah. And that's, uh, that also happens for the artist when you're doing it. You're, yes. you're, if I get it, or if I, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to be clever. That, right. that, that's not hard. It's easy to be glib. It's easy to be, but you have to, like, Get something, you hear it in your voice, it has to so, be So something. you're taking us places that, that puts the, the viewer or the listener or the reader in, the, in, a, in part of the creative process, right? Because they're having to figure out where that takes them, where this is, where that in, uh, reading between the lines is, if you will. Yeah, if, if, yeah. So, but I'm having the experience first. So yes. I, I'm not writing anything I didn't see first or didn't paint first, and I'm hearing the voices, yes. and I've got a lot of randomness, and I'm just trying to get out of my mind. If I can, th you know, it's pretty boring living in your own mind. Let it, the it, subconscious it, play. In anything that gets me out of my mind into some bigger mind is what I'm looking for. Would you mind sharing some of it with us? Okay. Well, this is kind of the dart, and I'm a very optimistic, happy person generally, and the times in my view, are not as happy in that. They're impinging on us. Yeah. That is a, you know. We're dealing with that in this art. We're, we're yeah. dealing with that in art. So before I read, I want to just say the zeitgeist change. Yes, let's talk about uh, that. The, the zeitgeist change, you're going along, you're going along, and what you were writing before suddenly is no longer appropriate. Mm -hmm. And your edge shifts, and you have to dial in differently, yes. and it's, it's, it's very jarring. What, what, would you uh, would you say that, that that kind of a stark zeitgeist shift that is threatening to us um, uh, lends itself to this being a more of an open source, uh, if you will, to, just to have some way to put it less structured, more avant garde piece. No. Okay. No. That uh, what it does is it makes it you, you, all my requirement is is to be honest and okay. to tell the truth okay. of what's, what I'm feeling. Yeah. And that's not very pleasant, yeah, you. either, you know, my, what I see around me or what I see inside me. Yes. So okay. anyway, no, I'll, I'll, I'll read yeah, a little. Please. So here we are at, uh, in Love Token Alley, in a, in a future from the past. It's a future that rhymes with the past that's a lot like now. Rat space. Share your demons, share your dark thought. Meet your friends from your dark past, all major credit cards. Don't catch your tail in the door. Ratspace.com, funded by big money rodent control. Mm -hmm. There was offline rat space as well, and sitting at the bar was itchy and bitey, and the snipper sisters, rodents, but breed we must. The future was full of toll roads. Everyone shaking your pocket. Save now, go up in a private rocket, orbit the moon this June. You think it wouldn't matter if you were a rat, that you were safe. But how safe were the rats? Just because snake oil sales were up didn't mean snakes were scarce and a cat could appear anywhere. A person could disappear just like that if there was profit in it, and nobody's secrets were secret for long. Mm -hmm. In the commode, there was a dead rat in the bowl. They'd been putting out the bait. In a corner, deep state talked with deep web. The room was dark, sounds of groping, muzzled grunts. The pipes were leaky. Water would squirt rusty green. The wiring is twisted and nibbled. Some speak in voices soft enough to wake a dead man, and as sly. Since they repealed the seatbelt laws, they'd been basking in more freedom, but the initial euphoria had worn off. Commies and fascists, no longer easy to tell apart with clumps of their mottled gray fur falling out. We're all buggers now, saluted a Brit, twitted a table near a dripping vent. Dow's down 60, crack pots or matted crack pots, failure and orphan. Another day in the hole. Yesterday's cheese stay on the traps. No one sweeping droppings off the floor. Roaches ruled the kitchen. Even fear of poison doesn't rate a whisker twitch. Mm. Yes. And no, no, no. Nothing it, going well. No, no. In the mouse's but, but, holes but a, in City Hall. But, but there's this dark song too. And, yeah. And so it moves. Anyway, us. that's the. Yeah. Well, so how was it for you going into these dark places? I mean, was the process itself 
uh, you know, draining, challenging, and enlivening? Um, it's, well, so, <laughs> interesting. So Mer Meredith Stryker, mm -hmm. uh, who is a great poet. Yes, uh, read and some of her work. She's, she's a great poet, lives in Carmel, and so I was picking, I, I'm a, very much of a Cajun, so I was going through these things, I'd, I'd pick up something from uh, a book of Carl Jung and I, uh, mm -hmm. Man and Society. I, you know, I'm picking up a random sentence. I'd pick up a Bible. I'd get a random thing. Yes. We must be something. Blah blah blah. I was getting. I was, you know, I'd go around the room and and just find places to just put me somewhere random. And everything was dark. Wow. And and I'd write them down on pieces of cardboard, and then I'd arrange them around, you know, to to see what the the following sentence would be. But everything was going dark. So I called Meredith, I said, man, the universe is just sending me gunk, you know? <laughs> and she said, you don't have to accept it. Okay. So I, I painted it over yes. and yes. went on, you know? It's, yes, uh, fabulous. You know, how, how do we deal with this? Yes. Uh, you know? Yes. And at, at the end, it was very dark writing it. At the end, as I'm reading it and performing it, uh, you know, to, into the, into the t machine, uh, it's not as, you know, the optimism comes through. So yes. it, it wasn't as dark um, as I had thought. Okay. You know? Okay. As you experienced it, as you created it. And it didn't it. seem very funny at the time. Well, but, but there's now, a now, it, it gets, now, now it's humor. There's a song. Now we, now we get, you know, so. And you, it's serious, yeah. too. So you never know what you're, you yeah, know, all, yeah. all you can do is be a good reporter. That's right. And, and. It's funny. I saw these these dreams about the the our new leader, mm -hmm. and he appears to me as this puff fish. Okay, and, <laughs> I and, love and this. sad, and I want to pat him. And I'm telling you know, yeah. and, I, and I'm sucking up, and I'm yeah. I'm just a, I'm I'm just a, a sycophant, and I'm telling let's go play golf, blah blah blah. Yes. And, you know, I'm telling yes. you know, all, Hollywood up. stories got you. I, I I was totally sucking up, and then you know I pet the thing, and then you know then then the thing nipped at me. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I was I was having this. And I go, this is so weird that I'd be such a sycophant. Yeah, and then I call another friend. He goes, yeah, in the dream, I'm on the bed with Ivanka, and he gave me a new pair of gloves. <laughs> 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 so we we cr we've created. No, well, we're all so co-opted into this we, power structure. We, we, we just we, are. We, we're all part of this creation. And, and even as we try to separate ourselves from it, yeah, it's it, it, it's 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 and it, critique it. it. It's very weird, and uh, you know the 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 the, the point of comedy is the difference between uh, you, you know there it's knowing better and, 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 and knowing <laughs> that you're not going to get there <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and trying and, anyway and, and those places yeah. in between where we yeah. where we yeah. live is, is you know that 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 you know we never close at the blind spot so you you and I before the show were talking about a discipline that you put yourself into with this piece and that is I believe it's a hundred pages long single spaced if yes, that's right yes. yeah. no, and, no punctuation no paragraph. and as you put those hundred pages together and you continue to refine it and create this piece uh, if you add a word, you take a word. If you add a sentence, you take the same number of words yeah, out yeah, of the piece. Yeah. Uh, how has that been, uh, as, as just experiencing it as you create, but also what do you think it's done for your creation? Uh, it's very, well again, so it's, it's appropriate for, it, it's, it's one, one, it's the path of madness, it can mm -hmm. be. I've, I've seen writers that start getting too tight and it gets crazy, mm -hmm. so it's a path of madness. But for this particular piece, because it's long. It'll play on multiple things. It will loop. The audience isn't watching it as a story. They're watching it as moment to moment. So that they, I don't need them to understand everything at a time. So I'm looking at compression. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I drive around in the car a lot and listen to T.S. Eliot. Yes. Uh, that is almost incomprehensible at first listening, at second listening, at third listening, at fourth listening, at fifth listening, at sixth listening. But somewhere in there, uh, when you finally hear it, every word is perfect yes. and it's clear. So I just have to make sure that my structures work, that um, that I get it right. If, if it's right, it doesn't matter that the audience gets it right away. It, right. Just, it just has to be there that if they yes. do want to unpack it, they can. That, that it that it that it is there Invite structurally. The room. You know, it's yeah. like architecture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I love uh, what I'm going to call minimalist art because. 
if you walk into that room and you say, what is this? Like, uh, or, 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 or a poem that is abstract enough to where to really begin to make something sense out of it for yourself and the world around you, you have to sit with it some, some right? And go back through it. Yeah. Um, that that it, it, it puts a different, pos the, 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 the viewer or the reader in a different position and, and it, it requires, you can go in that room and say, I've heard it once, I don't understand it, I'm gone. Certainly you can do that. But if you stay in the room with it, it invites you to create. You're creating with it in order to even get it, if, if, if that makes sense. Well, I'm, you know, God only knows what I do, but what I'm doing is I'm celebrating my betters. So yeah. this is a lot, you know, again, when I was, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, what was it like to be Picasso? What was it like to be Stravinsky? What was it mm -hmm. like to, what, what kind of, uh, even Jackson Pollock, what, what, how hot did they have to yes. run? How hot did those engines have to run to create this? It's not like you're, I mean, genius isn't something that, no. you know, just because you've got something that means something happens. It's, it's, it's uh, genius is having some ability if you can work hard enough that you can, you can squeeze it out. You can, you can squeeze out of the lemon. <laughs> yeah, 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 because yes. these guys, and women, I mean, how, how great art gets created, what what really has to happen. Yeah. What, uh, I remember there's, there's a scene in Moby Dick where he's, uh, the writer is almost seeing himself as the, the whale and he's looking at his reflection in the mirror yes. and he's seeing steam coming out of his <laughs> head. And I, I, I think that described it. I mean, yeah. so you go into the abyss. I, and I think, make you know, what's it. important to, as, um, you know, uh, Important to know for any artist of any discipline is how hard you have to work. Yeah. What what the bar is. What what is expected of you. And if you leave anything on the table, mm -hmm. you can't be in the priesthood. You got to keep going deeper. Y you know. You got to reach deeper you and can, deeper. And you. I think it was Renoir that you know his, his famous painting that you know this of, of, of the uh, of the part of the uh, on the terrace with the party yeah. scene. He said, and he he repainted that many many times. Yeah. He said, "Some and sometimes in life, you, 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 as an artist, you have to choose something to do that is far beyond your capabilities, and you know it going in. I mean, look at and that you go anyway. Look, look at that painting. There's a stream of yellow that starts at the lower end of the yes. canvas that goes through yeah. the, the boatman's yes. jacket, then it goes through the lady's that's her back to us, and it goes through her thing, and it yes. goes down. I mean, it, and it, it's it's just this to get inspiration, to get that magical flash that that." that leap, that creative leap, you just have to, you have to burn hot. Yes, and, 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 and Mark, this is probably a good place, as we're burning hot, to wind this program down. God, we've done 18 we've minutes We've done already? 18 minutes, oh, wow. and we've just gotten started. <laughs> and I know you've got a next project that you're already uh, yeah. kind of uh, in a note-taking, structuring standpoint, yeah. and it's gonna be different than this one. Yeah, and totally of different. course, and, and, and even uh, looking for a little more structure for yeah. certain reasons. And uh, I really want to, you to come back, if you will. We'll, we'll talk about okay. we'll talk about that as well as you've got Novikov in the room. We'll talk yeah. about Novikov too. Yeah. So yeah, this is a great book. <laughs> <laughs> so please come back. Thanks again. And I just want to thank everyone for being a part of your town and Artivism this month. Uh, and we'll look forward to seeing you again. We're going to keep the, the fires burning of creativity and artivism. Thank you very much.